Hi everybody, it's Mary Jane again. We are going to paint a concertina. I just learned about how to make them um, and I thought that we can make a butterfly concertina because we have the Butterfly Way Project garden and all around the school. So why not paint butterflies? We will imagine our butterflies, we won't paint actual butterflies, we'll build our own. So the first thing we do is get a piece of watercolor paper. This is a pretty big one. Um, you could get a, a, a smaller one, but um, I divided it in half and painted one side with a wash. And I speeded this part up because I didn't show you when I put the green down, but I put the green down thinking about grass on the bottom and sky on the top and I had fun with my color. And then when it was dry, I turned the paper around and started to make butterflies. Now, butterflies, um, my butterflies are shaped by uh, painting down shapes uh, like teardrops. My butterflies that I made here are have four teardrops and I think you know how to paint teardrops, but they're a good shape. So if we put the shapes down, then later on we can add details with markers or crayons or um, pens. So this one I thought, let's try a bow tie shape because they can be butterflies too. So I made a little bow tie shape and then I, I added some teardrops shapes for the other wings, parts, um, at the lower part. Yeah. So I'm going to stop talking and you can think about painting shapes that we are going to make into butterflies and maybe a few flowers for our concertina.
Now then it was time to make our shapes turn into butterflies. I have some new materials that I've been experimenting with. I bought some Posca pens, which are acrylic markers. And also I have that white acrylic marker that I like so much. But I also found some less expensive markers called chalk markers, which are quite brilliant and fun when you draw over painted surfaces. So I decided to use some of my chalk markers and some of my acrylic markers to decorate with pattern um, the little butterflies that we're making. So my butterflies, um, your butterflies can be different than mine. I was just tr trying to show you an easy way to make butterflies. So I gave them two little eyeballs. Remember the bugs project where I drew in the sketchbook, I drew um, quite a number of bugs. Well, it's the same th sort of thing. Um, bugs the, my butterflies are looking a lot like the bugs that I drew because they're just what I draw, I guess. It's, it's my style or something. <laughs> um, this little guy was yellow and I thought I would... Remember the flowers we made with circles? Well, I decided to make patterns using circles and lines to decorate the butterflies. I put a little black strip down the middle for the body and I dotted a bit as well and gradually I built up the page of butterflies for you. When they're done I will cut them up and we will turn that watercolor background into a concertina with flying butterflies. I think it's going to be okay. I think it's going to look kind of cool. There I am, dotting again. Dots are fun. You can make butterflies um, on regular paper with crayons. There's an idea. And instead of having a watercolor background, you could have a sheet of colored paper and make crayon butterflies and cut them out and turn that into a concertina too. But for this project, I was using my watercolors and my watercolor box and my markers and my chalk markers. As you can see, they're really fun for making patterns. And those shapes are turning into butterflies and there are a few flower shapes there as well. How's the butterfly garden coming around the school? I bet there are some things starting to bloom now that it's springtime in Vancouver. I don't think the butterflies will be around until the weather warms up a bit. And the bees, they'll start coming around too. Are the blossoms out in your neighborhood? When I take my little dog walking, I've been enjoying the cherry trees on my street. April will start in another couple of days and pretty soon it'll be Easter. And by the time you see this, it might be after Easter.
It might even be next fall when you see this. But I think this is a fun project to make butterflies with shapes and dots and markers. You could probably use a regular markers too to make patterns. A black marker would work. A Sharpie would work for black. And markers would work over the watercolor if they were darker. So you can make some pretty cool bugs and butterflies. This took a long time. I think it took me an hour or so. Well, maybe it was more like 25 minutes. And this video has been shortened down to a much quicker pace. So I can't draw and make things that fast. So don't worry. And you can slow YouTube videos down too if things are going too fast. And you can stop them too while you catch up. But I would think you would watch this and then, then you can do your own project and just check back for reference to see if you need some help. Your butterflies are going to be so different from mine, but it's going to be so much fun. I think they're starting to look pretty, pretty nice. Shapes, circles, and lines, and dots. I outlined my butterflies with the chalk markers because they're very brilliant colors. And the chalk markers are really meant for blackboards. Um, you know, restaurants, when you see these signs outside, they have pretty little signs that people draw letters on saying coffee today is 50 percent off or what what's for lunch the lunch special so these chalk markers work beautifully over paint but probably better over acrylic paint with a smooth surface these watercolor paints on watercolor paper it's a little bit scratchy for them so you could make butterflies with acrylic paint too. You could do the whole thing with acrylic paints and then go over them with mark. Well, markers over acrylic might not work, but Sharpies would. Maybe your teacher can buy some chalk markers or maybe you can get your own chalk markers because they're really fun. You can, especially over colored paper. So I was making a little few flowers and thinking about what to do next and just playing around with dots and lines. Making art. I didn't know what was going to happen, but that's what art is like. Take some chances. Don't worry about being perfect because sometimes things don't work out. But if you keep on going, it's fun to see what happens. I hope the music isn't getting irritating. I, I uh, edited this in iMovie on my iPad. And um, I can't seem to change the music midstream unless I chop everything up into bits. And this part, I wanted it all in one, one session here. But see how the markers and adding patterns to our shapes has created something quite fun and beautiful.
So it's coming pretty much to the end of this part. I thought I had enough butterflies for the concertina. I hope this is inspires you to make your own art. That's why I'm doing it, just for you. Circles and lines, circles and lines, patterns. It's called decorative art. Or illustration. And then I was ready to um, cut it up pretty soon, cut it in half, so that I could paste the butterflies down on the other side. I was almost ready. Yeah, I think I was pretty much done. So the next part will be coming up soon.